Hi guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on YouTube. This is Daniel Rosal and on this channel I upload all the uh, various technology subjects that I have been talking about to date. And uh, what I want to tackle today is a method for doing audio equalization in uh, the Caden Live open source video editor. So in order to demonstrate how that can be done, I've gone ahead and uh, loaded here onto my timeline um, a little bit of video that I recorded last week for my main YouTube channel. And it's basically just me uh, talking for 20 seconds as I show that this is a place where you cross a cross an international border. Now, the sound is actually fairly decent, uh, but I thought nevertheless we could use it to kind of just uh, play around. So I'm just going to I'm going to play 10 or so seconds of it so you can hear what the audio sounds like in the first place. Um, five or ten meters on the Israeli side of the blue line. The village of Rajar is actually beautiful, I would say. Even if I wasn't a border spotting fanatic, it would be worth it myself. In fact, all right, so I'm just going to actually stop the clip here because that's more than enough for the purpose of demonstration. Uh, now, one way you can work on audio in Caden, Li in Caden Live is not to work on audio in Caden Live. Sometimes it's a lot easier to extract the audio, and I'm going to do that now, and work in Audacity. So to do that, you want to right, right, quick, right click uh, on the clip and you'll have there an option for extracting the audio in as a WAV file, W-A-V, and that's uncompressed audio. So you're not going to be losing quality or anything by doing that. So I'm just going to do that firstly. And my clip here is 5786.mp4 and you should be able to see now somewhere in your clip bin uh, 5786. So that was a clip, 0001.wav. So that's how uh, Caden Live does this audio extracting process. If you extract audio, it'll take your clip number and append uh, you know, an orderly wav uh, to it. Now what you can do at this point is open up Audacity as it has much more audio capabilities or it's easier to work with audio in one program than let's say working on it in Caden Live. Many would think, and this is my audio waveform uh, for that clip. So I'm currently recording this literally um, five or 10 meters on the Israeli side of the blue line. The okay, so I'm just gonna do a couple of things. And again, this is really just to demonstrate sort of ways you can work with audio in Caden Live, especially if you uh, use Audacity in tandem with it. So the first thing I could do here is normalize the audio. So I could go for edit normalize and uh, you can see that that's just tidied up the peaks there it would be worth it myself in fact according to google maps but let's just do something to make it a little bit distinctive so i'm going to go into edit graphic eq i'm actually just going to play around with one of the factory presets for let's say treble boost we can see what this does is turn up uh, the frequencies from five uh, 5k upwards and from and the rest of them are all basically left flat so i'm going to just apply this eq edit here i pretty much exactly on the blue line at the moment to the left of me is uh, the israeli side the blue line and the side i'm walking towards and actually what you should really do is normalize after it so i'm going to renormalize now side i'm walking towards i'm now technically walking into lebanon so what we have now is that audio file. So I'm going to, it's a bit of a cumbersome process. What I'm going to do is uh, basically overwrite this by going export, export as WAV. And I'm going to overwrite that file and then go back into Caden Live. So in Caden Live, in order to use that, I'm going to firstly drop the WAV file in. And then we said it was 5786, 5786. And what I'm going to do is we're going to use the uh, updated audio. So I'm going to actually ungroup this, get rid of the original audio, move them together, and then group this. So now we have, this is the original. The village of Rajar is actually beautiful, I would say, even if I wasn't a border spotting fanatic, it would be worth it myself. In fact, so I'm currently recording this literally um, five or 10 meters on the Israeli side of the blue line. The village of Rajar is actually beautiful, I would say, even if I wasn't a border spotting fanatic. There's actually not a world of difference between the original audio um, and the audio as we normalized it, but if you're paying very, very good attention, you might be able to pick up some uh, small differences in how that sound. Now, the final thing I want to show is how you can sort of do this in Caden Live itself. So I'm gonna just paste this block of audio and video, this little bit of narration again. And now you're going to look for a 
uh, plugin in Caden Live. So in the main list of all effects under audio, um, you can actually just uh, speed up the process a bit by searching for uh, EQ. And there's a few of them here that are interesting. Um, you have DJ EQ, DJ EQ Mono, Multiband EQ. These are in Steve Harris's SWH plugins. Then there's also Audio Equalizer. And you can just uh, pop that on. I'm going to ungroup these and pop this on just to the audio. And you can see exactly what the capabilities of that audio plugin are, right? So we can see uh, that this one is not exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to try next Multiband EQ. Drop that onto the audio, and this is pretty much what I was going for. So let's go for the opposite effect here. I'm going to actually make, uh, let's just see, plus, plus, plus. I'm going to actually turn up the low frequencies a little bit, about 5 dB. There we go, and turn this one up about 5 dB. That should be enough. Now, let's have a listen to how this sounds. It's literally um, 5 or 10 meters on the Israeli side of the blue line. We can hear that that's kind of uh, peaking, a, peaking a little bit, so um, we might need to do a little, a little bit of work. But just for the purpose of demonstration, right, I'm going to actually cut out the high frequencies altogether. Now listen. So I'm currently recording this literally um, 5 or 10 meters on the Israeli side of the blue line. The village of Gaza and it clearly sounds horrible and distorted. But just compare with this. 10 meters on the Israeli side of the blue line. The village of Gaza is beautiful, I would say, even if I was in original audio. Israeli side of the blue line. The village of Gaza is actually beautiful. So now this is obviously sounds really, really bad. But if you, if you do know what you're doing, it's a little bit unintuitive uh, to use the equalizer like this laid out vertically instead of uh, horizontally. Um, but nevertheless, uh, you can. I'm just going to show you DJ Mono as well. DJ EQ. Um, and there's one more Zam Dynamic EQ. So um, that's why I personally think that if you're going to be working on your audio uh, separately, it makes more sense to export it into an audio uh, interface, something like Audacity, where you can uh, work on stuff like equalization, normalization in a much more intuitive way. It just does mean you have to export um, from Caden Live into Audacity. There's no way that you can use them together sort of completely seamlessly. Um, but if you do want to go down the road of trying to make audio equalization changes in um, Caden Live itself, open up the um, audio effects plugin. In fact, I'm just going to get out of this. And you're going to have a whole, whole menu starting with uh, EQ and filters. I'm just going to take off this edit here to this. And if you want to add, for instance, a low pass filter, you're going to just put that on the audio here. And let's hear, hear what this sounds like. Clearly not successful. Uh, high pass filter. This time, let's try. On the Israeli side of the blue line, the village of Hadjar is actually beautiful. I would say. And the high pass doesn't doesn't really uh, doesn't really work in this instance. But if you have a certain frequency, uh, a low frequency you're trying to uh, clip out, or a high frequency you're trying to clip out, then these simple filters can work. Uh, that's EQ and filters. I'm just gonna get rid of this one. And then, as I mentioned under Steve Harris's SWH plugins, you have stuff that's a bit more advanced. And if you go down into the uh, EQ area, you have a DJ EQ. And in Zam, we also have <coughs> the uh, Zam, e Zam Dynamic EQ and Zam EQ 2, and you can play around with what you think sounds best. Hope this video was helpful if you're using uh, Caden Live. Uh, thanks for watching.